Hey, yo, it's your boy Flo. Alright, man. It looks like DDG just uploaded some shit called The End of DDG and Ruby. Um, I ain't gonna lie, I wasn't expecting this to happen this soon. I ain't gonna say I ain't expected at all, because we've seen what DDG been through in the past, but for it to happen this soon, I'm ready to see the reason for that, so let's check this shit out. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video with your boy, DDG. Um, today's video is basically an update video, you know? Um, I got a little bit of Chick-fil-A here. I might do a little bit of eating, a little book bang or whatever, but today is really just an update video and me just trying to, you know, just detach myself from a situation that I know isn't good for me or the other person, you know, and the other person being Ruby. Um, and I want y'all to know, despite what I tweet, despite what I say, like, this is a person that I spent hours, days with, you know what I mean? Like, go to sleep, wake up, she stayed at my house for a long time, like, you know what I mean? We're, we're like a real, actual relationship, you know what I mean? So I'm not gonna sit up here and act like, you know, I ain't love her, or I didn't have feelings for her, or we wasn't really dating, blah, 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 this other shit. It's a lot of stuff that y'all don't see online that attracts me, you know what I mean? She's a different person online than offline, right? She's a very nice girl, very, very nice. But just like myself, I'm not gonna sit here and point the finger. She's damaged. I'm damaged as well. And, you know, niggas tried, you know what I mean? I've, I've been trying the situation. I've been trying to be in a relationship. Um, I wouldn't say that's necessarily a good reason to break up. You feel me? Because if y'all both damaged, right? Wouldn't be better if y'all was both still together so y'all can help each other heal. You know what I mean? But maybe things ain't go. Let me just listen to what the rest of what he had to say. And I've been trying to make it work, but it's just like me and her just bump heads way too much and it's way too many third parties involved. And it just created a very, 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 very toxic relationship. Now, I already realized that, right? But in my head, you know, I'm like, okay, cool. My last relationship before Ruby, and y'all know who I'm talking about. Y'all bring her up every time. It wasn't no effort from her side. You know what I mean? It wasn't like, it, it, was, it was night and day. You know what I mean? And that's the reason why it's been so on and off. Like, I don't like this toxic shit. This is not for publicity. I don't need to be posted on those shade room teams. I don't want to be posted on those shade room teams. But it's not what I do it for. It's not what I do it for. Um, Let's be real here, though. He knew what he was getting himself into. Ruby Rose. Come on, bro. You knew exactly what she was doing, bro. I respect it, though. I respect it. I ain't knocking him. I'm just saying. It's just me. I'm, I'm just saying, like, don't be surprised that you on the shade room, all that stuff, because they keep up with shit like that. Feel me? Anything, anything, bro. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an emotional nigga. You know what I mean? That's just how I am. You know what I mean? It's, it's nothing that I can. I'm not gonna sit here and beat myself up about it. You know what I mean? I know I tweeted. I know I said what I said. Blah blah blah. This other shit is just because I'm hurt. Niggas get hurt. You know what I mean? I found out some shit and I was like, damn, that's. That's that's fucked up, you know what I mean? And you still hitting me like, like you didn't just do this, you know what I mean? And then you lied about it, you know? And that's just one thing that just that just irks me is just lies. But that's not to say I haven't lied to her about stuff, you know? And I feel like me and her is just, we're two superstars, you know what I mean? And I feel like this is us being together, it's not gonna work, you know what I mean? It's not gonna work, we bump heads too much. I realize that, but again, Ruby showed so much effort in trying to make shit work that I would like, I would get real back in, but it'll also be very, very controlling and like, I wouldn't like, if I like a girl picture, it'd be crazy. Like, it's like little shit like that. You know what I mean? And we'd get into the most pettiest arguments and the most biggest art and it'd turn into something very. Kind of sounds something similar to what Flight went through. Going through the phone shit, asking for the phone shit. I don't know if that happened with him and Ruby, but toxic. 
very, very big. And then social media get involved. But like the tweeting and stuff, that's like my last resort. You know what I mean? It's like, what can I do? I'm not finna put my hands on you. I'm not finna do this and that. So I gotta publicly, I gotta publicly move on from it. You know what I mean? And that's why I'm really making this video because I'm trying to, I really just wanna just 100% detach myself, let her do her. I don't want to see her on a, on a, like, you know what I mean? I just, I just want to detach myself and I just want to focus on myself, my music and my career and, and further in myself as a person. Um, and I told her that and that, and she know that me and her not going to work. You know what I mean? But it's just like, when you really nigga in and you, and, and you make a nigga love you and you make a nigga blah, 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 and then you still do bullshit. No, I know y'all not here for me, but. I ain't gonna lie, I've been through the same thing where a female will reel you in knowing that she don't have the real intentions of, you know, making you a better man. Like, she just needs you for to, you know, make herself, like, feel better and, like, cheer herself up. But once she's done with that, it's over with you. She don't need you no more. And then I start doing bullshit back. And it's just like, at that point, the relationship is already over. So it's really just... Last night I was tweeting, people seen it, blah, blah, blah. I let my emotions get the best of me. I'm not going to sit here and act like I did, you know what I mean? But I'm also not going to act like I don't love the girl. So this video is not to bash her. I know I said some shit. I'm not going to spare her or some bullshit like that. That was really just me just trying to scare her and shit like that. But I wasn't going to come on here and, and, and be no asshole and be no bully because she's a very, 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 very nice girl. She's just damaged as, you know, as, as well as many girls, you know, especially in this, in this industry. It's like, I didn't, I already knew what type of girl she was before I got with her. I knew her past. I knew all this other shit, but I let it slide. You know what I mean? I let it go past. I'm like, that's before me, blah, blah, blah. But some of the stuff also carried on into our relationship and it fucked our relationship up. So Ruby, if you're watching this. You know, I still got love for you, but I just had to, I had to, I had to say that. I had to say that because, well, before I start tweeting, like, if I, if I would tell her, if I would get mad or whatever like that, she would think it's a joke because you know why? We get back together every single time. So I'm like, okay, I can't keep letting this girl reel me back in. And in my last relationship, my last relationship, the one that y'all love to talk about so much, I didn't feel nowhere near as much effort into a relationship as this one. You know what I mean? Like, my ex before Ruby didn't show no effort. You know what I mean? And I would, like, I'm talking about, y'all already know how. I That's the worst thing to go through with the no effort shit. Like, I mean, shit gotta be 50-50. I'm not talking about nothing else. I'm just talking about emotionally. Like for me, y'all both gotta be on the same page. And if y'all not, and one person giving more effort than the other, obviously shit like this is gonna happen. Like I was in that relationship. I used to do crazy in love ass shit, but I would get no type of love in return. You know what I mean? So it's like me getting this, finally being with a girl that's really gonna feel some type of way ADG about simping or oh, it's man. gonna try to Come fight on, me stay. it's just it's just something that makes me feel better you know what i mean i'm like damn i gotta stay with this girl and i gotta see where this technically um technically if it's your shorty though you're not really simping though for real it's, it's not simple go you know what i mean but in reality the relationship is just too toxic we argue we was arguing literally every single day um, the situation that happened last night, I found out some shit, blah, 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 but she was also acting like it was nothing and she lied about it. Like, it's just little shit like that, bro. Like, I told her, I'm like, bro, you can do you. You can go fuck with any nigga that you want to fuck with, blah, blah, blah. I go fuck with any girl I want to fuck with. And that's cool. We can be cool. We can be friends later on in the future once we get over each other. You know what I mean? But it's just like, I don't know. It's something about the effort. Something about the effort that just kept me going. And 
a lot of y'all don't even know her like that. You know what I mean? Y'all just see what y'all see online, but she's really a nice girl. And it's like, I can't even sit on here and bash her. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to make no video bashing her. This whole point of this video is just for me to detach myself completely. I am 100% single. You see me with a girl, you see her with a nigga, that's her business. It's my business. You know what I mean? That That's her business. And wherever I'm fucking with, my business, you know what I mean? And we just gonna leave it at that. I don't wanna hear no more DDG and Ruby Bow, blah, 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 all this other shit. You know what I mean? Just leave it alone. It's over. The relationship is done. Niggas is moving on. Um, and that's that. Now, me saying that, I don't air out no information. She posts message screenshots. I would never stoop that low. I would never show you messages or how she talked to me or anything like that. I would never go in depth and detail about personal situations that nobody else should know about. All right. And the shit that she said, the shit that she tweeted about, I could have came back and I could have said a million more things. But with that being said, um, Moonwalking in Calabasas is the number one added song on radio. Clap it up. It's the number one song added on radio and rhythm radio. That song one, tough. I ain't gonna one, lie. That, one. that song go hard. Spotify is number two on rap caviar. The biggest Blue playlist. Blueface and DDG hoes in the name. Um, Chill, it's on I'm all three of the biggest ready. playlists. I still got my face on one of the playlists on Spotify. I'm the face of it. Um, the song is going so crazy. I know y'all want new music. I already know y'all want new music. And I'm telling you, the shit that I got in the stash is not even fair. Like, I'm finna blow up so quick. I'm all, I already went from 1 million monthly listeners on Spotify to 4 million. I got 4 million. Let that sink in. I got 4. I told you I want 10 million for the end of the year. And I only dropped one song and it did all of this. So, um, everything is going great music-wise. Everything, everything that I planned, my whole plan of stopping YouTube, going to music, dropping a hit. Everything worked perfectly. All glory to God. But I'm enjoying myself. I'm very, very proud of myself. And I'm happy that y'all are here to support my music. And you know, I know, I know some of y'all, it's been hard. It's it's been hard for you to give my music a chance. But I'm telling you right now, if you've never ever listened to my music before, please check it out. Tune in to Moonwalking in Calabasas. I got some shit dropping. Just, just remember that. Just remember this video. Just remember this video when it drops. You're going to be like, yeah, this nigga was not playing. But I know y'all waiting on new music, but I got to let Moon Walk and live, bro. It's going too crazy. But I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Kings, focus on yourself. We're young. Have fun. Ladies, you too. See y'all in the next video. No cap. Go, bitch. All right, well, like I said before, it right, looks like um, it happened again. A uh, relationship that looked like it was going very well Um, to social media, you know, quote unquote stars at the moment. Um, in their own realm. Uh, but I guess we can't really be surprised. Like, we can't say we ain't see this shit coming, but bless up to DDG and congrats to him on all the success on his music. Um, and yeah, looks like that's going to be it. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe. We tuning in and we reacting every day, every week. Let's go.